In this video, I'm going to show you how to install TickStory and to download some data for backtesting. So first of all, go to TickStory.com and select the download option. From here, you'll need to purchase TickStory standard. So scroll down to the bottom and select buy now. So there is a, a TickStory Lite which is free but it is uh, very limited and uh, um, for now we're best to install the, the standard version. So you go through this process, Yeah, for now you don't need to make the monthly subscription, just do a one-off purchase uh, for TickStory standard. So having done that you'll be emailed a download link And you download the setup program. So I'm going to run that. And I want to install it in drive D. So I'm going to browse to my drive D. Enter D colon slash tick story. Let's create a desktop shortcut. Complete the installation and we'll launch TickStory. So the first thing I need to do is to link it to my MetaTrader 4. So to do that I go to File and Settings. So there's my storage location which you need to set up as decode on slash TickStory. So if you don't have a, dr a drive D then uh, and you have a large drive C then of course you can do everything on drive C but I have a small drive C and a large data drive so that's why I'm installing on drive D. So go to the MT4 settings and you search for your MT4 installation which in my case is MT4 Fusion Markets and you need to pick the data folder as well so select Fusion Markets data folder and I'm running my MT4 in portable mode so I need to enter slash portable here so having done that let's check that I can run MT4 from TickStory so I can either do it from this icon here or go to the tools and launch MT4 mm -hmm. So that's working fine. The next step is to download some data. So going back to TickStory, I'm going to go to click on the Forex and I'm going to download some data for Euro dollar. So select the symbol you want, right click and just select export to MT4. Um, you don't need to do a separate download because the export does a, a download and export. So click on the export and I now need to load the symbol data for my broker. So with the robot trader you'll be provided with some pre-configured data. So you go to load, so now I'm in the MetaTrader info tab, go to load and you want to navigate to your tester folder. So in my case it's on drive D, MT4 Fusion Markets, Tester and in here you'll find supplied in the MT4 config folder a file with the Fusion Markets symbol data. So open that and it now loads the data such as the spread, the digits, uh, the swap long and the swap short data. So having done that, I pick the date range I want to download. So I'm just going to pick 1st of January for this year up to the 18th of November. Um, I don't need the M1 data but I will download 
all the other time frame data here and because Fusion Markets uses a server time of GMT plus 2 I need to click on the Just Time Zone scroll up and go to UTC plus 2 and start the download process so I need to right click on the progress bar and say start task and now the download and export begins so we'll come back to that in a minute when that's completed so now that my data download has completed we can check if the we can run a back test okay in MetaTrader 4 so I'm going to go to Fusion Markets and go into the strategy tester just configure this window here so I need to select robot trader and I'm going to test your dollar on the other time frame using the current spread um, that is built into the the data that we downloaded my date range is going to be so I'm currently testing this range at the moment you can check what data is available by going to text story and select the symbol so we have data available from the start of 2022 up to the 19th of November so I can actually set 19th of November as my final date there and I need to load some settings click on expert properties inputs and if you've installed robot trader go to load and you'll find some settings in version 3.6 folder so for test purposes I'm just going to try this one here and start the back test so now it begins I can click on the graph and watch the progress of this test here so this shows the the balance as we run through the back test So that has now completed the back test. We can examine the, the graph and the results of the test. So that is it. That is how to install TickStory, download some data and run a back test.